In this video, I'm going to show you how to um, connect to a web page that you would have created that has a set of data that you want to bring in using um, the JSON protocol. Um, you have it formatted to the JSON protocol, and you're going to use AF um, networking um, interface, their library of tools to um, connect and bring it on in. Um, this is kind of a follow-up to a, a previous video I had on just parsing a web page, which was a very simple NS URL string. Um, but this um, works better if you have like a, a bunch of data in a, in a certain format, um, which most people do when they're creating a, uh, an, an app of, for iOS. So anyway, let, let's just go over. So I'll, I'll provide all the uh, links and everything you would need um, in the description here. Um, but what you're going to want to do is go to uh, go to Google and search AF networking. Like I said, I'll provide this link. But uh, you go to the first first um, thing that comes up. It's uh, GitHub.com AF networking, and then you would just download the zip file that contains everything in here. Um, after you download the zip file, unzip it, and you get it pop up um, like this. And what you're going to want to do is go ahead in here and you're going to grab the um, AF networking folder and the UI kit plus AF networking folder. And you're going to drag them into your project. Um, so you would actually just kind of drag them over here. I've already done this, so I'm going to hit cancel. But you would, would want to make sure that your uh, this is checked for copy items. Um, make sure this top one's checked here and create groups for any folder. I'm going to cancel that though because um, I've already done it. Here they are right here. Okay. Um, one thing I will point out uh, I, I created this uh, text folder and threw it on my uh, Dropbox that um, you could connect to to play around with and test it out. Um, that is, uh, looks just like this. This is a JSON formatted. Um, uh, text file. And just to briefly describe in case you're not familiar with, um, what you do is, it's like any other um, scripting language where every time you have an open bracket, make sure you have a closed bracket um, for it. Um, so basically you give a name to your data set. This one I called player info. Then you have a colon. Um, and you use this square bracket here only if you're going to uh, uh, that, that signifies you're creating an array now. Um, and then these are the objects in the array in, inside each of these brackets, right? Uh, so I have a simple one here. It just has some pro athletes, uh, the sport they play, college they went to, and uh, the year they started um, in their uh, pro sport, which I think these dates are actually wrong, but I just put it in there real quick um, to have a cute little data set to use. Um, so this is what it, the formatting would look like, though. And I could even put a, I uh, have down here a little example. If I had wanted to, I could put an array within an array by, um, let's say, uh, right here. I wanted to paste this in here. I could then have college have a subarray that has the name of the college and the nickname for the college. Um, that could work as, as thus. But we're not going to get that complicated. We're just going to have a straight um, each array element here has uh, four sets of data. And I'll show you because it works really nice how this can be accessed um, when you're grabbing it from uh, from the web. So like as I said, I already have this on the web. Let's go take a look um, at our project. I just made a, a single view project, which I'll um, zip up and uh, make it available for you to download so you don't have to bother um, typing in all this code. But let me just describe what is going on here. Um, I made a uh, just a simple storyboard with a button. Um, I'm actually not even using this. I could probably just delete it. Just this button here that that basically when I click that, it's going to connect to the um, to the web. Um, let me just show you here. So there's nothing fancy in the .h file here. Um, just my IB action for my button. Um, 
and then I, I created it, my uh, URL that's going to look at my text file, the text file that I just showed you with the JSON formatted text. Um, the one thing here, though, is I did import the afnetworking.h, and that gives you access to all the AF networking um, protocols that you would need. Um, and then inside my IB action here, I set everything up in here. So I have uh, um, the URL, the, the, the string for the URLs right here. Um, then we convert it to an actual NS URL and then an NS URL request. And then we use that request with, here's where we start calling the AF um, networking protocols. We have AF HTTP request operation. And we create this operation variable, which is going to kind of set things in motion. Um, and then right here, we connect it to our request variable from up above. Um, then we uh, connect it to the response serialization, which I'm going to talk about that in a second. There's one thing you'll have to do, a little bit of code off the edit inside there. Um, and then we uh, just have this operation set completion block with success which basically says if it's a success, then we're going to continue on here. Um, and so what we do next is we actually, so it comes in, everything comes in. Oh, uh, I should mention right here is where we say, yes, we're going to use uh, JSON as the protocol because you could use XML, um, or maybe a, a couple other protocols. But I, uh, I'm a big fan of the JSON protocol, so I always use that. Um, and then so when it comes in using the JSON protocol, it comes in as an NS dictionary type. And so um, we cast the object, response object holds our data. So we cast that as an NS dictionary and we can send it to this variable um, called dick that we then um, can search. We can use an NS array variable, which I use this one called player. and I use um, search for player info, which is our data set, right? And so now that converted that, um, here, if you, let me just bring that file up again. So right up here, see where it says player info. That's the name of the data set. So that's the name of this array, basically. And so all of this gets held inside the um, player's array. And then so I can actually use that. Now uh, I can grab a any part of that. So I'm going to say, you know what, give me um, the object at index 2, which, again, if we look in here, remember, rays are zero base, so this is 0, 1, 2. So it should come up with Carmelo Anthony um, as the, as the, and all his player info there. Um, so that's how you can grab one set out of the array. I'm going to actually... Let me erase that. It's not necessary. Um, then I'm going to show you, I, I just keep this in here for um, uh, sake to show you a different way to go about this is you could um, use this uh, for loop, um, which will parse through all of the data and you could look for specific information if you wanted to. Um, so we're going to go look at the player info and then we're going to even break it down more though. Um, I've created this little counter, made it equal to zero. When it gets equal to two, which again, that would be, um, should be uh, Car Carmelo Anthony's information, um, then we're going to display the uh, key for player, which if, again, I'll keep going back and forth there, um, player is actually what holds the name. So that value should be this here, okay? Um, and I'm, I'm putting that out actually in an NS ns log okay um and then actually let me move this up here to make more sense so uh, this information is going to get printed to an ns log information already so let's actually run this and make sure it works okay so like i said all it does is come up to the screen i should hit this and it should spit back some of, yep there it goes um Oh, uh, here's all, all of Carmelo Anthony's information, school, basket. Uh, why did this give us Anquan Bolden? Oh, I know why. All right, that's poor programming on my part. Um, I increment 
the uh, va the variable before I actually go into the if statement. So first time through, this is going to be equal to one. Second time through, it's equal to two. That's actually very poor formatting. Though. I should have put this after the if statement so that the first time through count is equal to zero. That way I get Carmelo Anthony both times. Let's just make sure that's true. There. Yep, see that's how that works. So I, and you can change this then. Let's say we want to just do uh, college. And that should show us uh, Syracuse. Yep, Syracuse University right here. So it's that simple. Um, oh, the one other thing I did want to show you, because this screwed me up when I first started doing this, is um, you have to change, if you're going to use a text file or even a PHP file, um, you have to go into AF URL response serialization, and you're going to scroll down to um, 215 ish, right around there. Yeah, right here, 215. And it comes with these three things by default you're allowed to use. But if you want to use an HTML page, or what I'm using in this instance is a TXT file, so plain text, um, you have to add these. And I actually, so that's what I did. I added these little uh, um, quotes here, these strings, so that it notes to accept them as acceptable content types. And that's it. Uh, I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any um, other suggestions or if I didn't cover something that you would have liked me to. Um, thanks.